You may have already seen the ads running on TV here in Ontario promoting a new vaccine to protect kids against certain strains of meningitis. The infection strikes about 250 people a year in Canada, killing some. But as Maureen Taylor shows you, you have to know some things before paying to get the vaccine. Yeah, it's kind of sore when you push here. When he was nine, Keaton Grassy contracted a rare strain of meningitis. His parents had to make the devastating decision to let doctors amputate both of Keaton's legs below the knee. I saw everybody walking in, I started smiling. Everyone wasn't smiling back, so I thought, okay, this isn't great news then. Keaton's type of meningitis isn't covered by the current meningitis vaccine given to babies and adolescents, but it is covered by a newer vaccine. Protect your children now. It's called Menactra. It protects against four strains of meningitis, while the current vaccine protects against just one. But Canada's National Advisory Committee on Immunization, or NACI, decided not to recommend Menactra as part of routine childhood vaccination. For one thing, the extra strains covered by Menactra are rare in Canada, and there's no evidence they're increasing. Combined, we see of an average of about 37 cases a year in Canada. Menactra manufacturer Sanofi Aventis isn't pleased with NACI's lack of endorsement. Fatal cases of meningitis strains, which are vaccine preventable, continue to be reported in Canada, says a company statement. We believe the broadest protection possible against invasive meningococcal disease is essential in Canada. But this critic of drug company advertising says parents are being spooked into paying $160 for a vaccine their kids probably don't need. It doesn't give you that kind of balance of what's a potential benefit versus what's the potential harm. In the U.S., where Menactra has been used in millions of children, experts have associated the vaccine with a slight increase in the risk of Guillain-Barre syndrome, a neurological disorder that usually is reversible. Health officials in Prince Edward Island and New Brunswick have decided to ignore NACI's advice. They've added Menactra to their childhood immunization schedule. Maureen Taylor, CBC News, Toronto.